Boom. So, right, when I first get into spirituality and shit, right, one of the first things I did was I moved about my mama's house. You know what I'm saying? I had to get up out of the house doing that shit. Mama wasn't agreeing with that shit. And, you know, the grown-ass man, I had to get up out of any damn way. I was fresh out of prison trying to get my shit back together, so I stayed with my mama for a little while. Anyway, I started getting my apartment, right? Move next door, pretty much right next door to my mom in a little duplex or a, tri- a triplex of three apartments over there. My cousin lived in the back. And so uh, I moved next door to one of the craziest motherfuckers in the city, right? Uh, he was cool and shit, but at first we had some smoke going on. I didn't understand why. You know what I'm saying? He acted like he's my friend, but really he was doing shit behind closed doors. I noticed he used to always bring up Eastern stars and Masons all the time, man. You know how he, you know, he used to fuck with them and he used to be at the lodge and shit with them and doing shit for him. He used to always bring that shit up. He used to always talk about how my great grandma uh, was Eastern star connected and all that shit. My whole family is. <clears throat> so, uh, I used to get tired of him talking about this shit. So anyway, one night, man, you know what I'm saying? I was doing my little rituals and shit and uh, I used to feel this nigga over there just doing shit, but I know when you, when you go inside his house, you see a bunch of little crazy shit. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, man, this nigga do all to work. I had already peeped it out top. I said, this nigga do all to work and shit. He fuck with a little hoodoo on the low low. So one night he over there, you know what I'm saying? I'm doing my little, I had just got into doing my ancestor work, had my altars and shit together. You know what I'm saying? I don't think I would fuck with no Orishas yet. I want E5 initiated yet. But uh, next thing you know, I'm hearing this nigga beating on the wall and shit. He was beating on the wall. He did it six times. Boom, 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 boom. Loud as fuck. And I'm like, man, what the fuck this nigga over there doing? Wait a little second, he did it again. Boom, 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 boom. Six, every motherfucker time. So I'm like, what the fuck this nigga over there doing? Is he conjuring the devil or some shit? You know what I'm saying? So I go outside. I knock on his door. The nigga ain't never come to the door, right? So I go back over there. Uh, I'm lighting my white candles and shit, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, ancestors to protect me from anything, any evil come my way, because I'm already feeling all of all the shit is in the air, because I've been telling secrets and shit, you know what I'm saying? So uh, I hear the noise again. Boom, 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 boom. Now I'm getting fucking aggravated, right? I go outside, so now I'm beating on his motherfucking door. Man, what the fuck your motherfucking problem here? Boom, 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 boom. He not answering the door, period, right? So I'm like, man, I'm staying beating on the door. Stay beating on the door. He's not answering the door. I'm like, I know somebody in there because I hear him beating on the motherfucking wall and shit. The shit was so loud, it was shaking my motherfucking, uh, shaking pictures and shit on my wall. So I go back over there again. Um, now, this time when I go back to the house, I'm feeling all type of demonic energy around me. And that's the thing I hear the noise again. Boom, 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 boom. Now I'm mad. So I took my motherfucker gun. I said, this nigga beat through the motherfucking wall one more time. I'm going to send a bullet over there. I bet he stopped in. I'm chilling. I'm chilling, relaxing. Instead of feeling a bunch of demonic energy around me, I started feeling sick. I started feeling bad. Next thing you know, I heard, boom, 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 boom. I said, all right. I told her. Shot through the wall. <laughs> when I shot through the wall, all the noise stopped. And so uh, next thing you know, I see this nigga running outside on the porch. Big money, big money, big money. That was you, big money? That was you, big money? That was what he called me, big money. And I'm like, uh, what's he talking about? I'm playing dumb with him. I said, man, what you talking about? He said, man, somebody shot through my wall, big money. It came from your house. I said, man, I ain't even got no motherfucking gun. What you talking about, man? You know what I'm saying? So he was like, you show big money? I'm like, nah, nigga, I ain't did shit. But I said, but who the over there making all that motherfucking noise over there? They need to stop making all that motherfucking noise before somebody get mad. There might be some more shot come through that motherfucking wall. So this nigga used to have all type of masons and shit. He used to just pull up, right? And I'm knowing why they pulling up. They used to pull up and just watch me, watch my house, because everybody want to know who the fuck I was. Who is this? Who is this new? This new mason, this new set boy, that's not only been going around telling people all these secrets and shit, but he been whacking niggas. Anybody we get close to him, he whacking them, or his people whacking their ass. So the, you know, they used to come up and just watch me and shit. And that's when I realized this nigga next door wasn't on my team he was on their side and i come to find out later on this nigga was actually spirit cooking me this nigga had me in a motherfucking job i'm gonna tell that story later stay tuned tales of a former human trafficking age continues